Hello friends, my name is Bharat and I am going to talk about iterator design pattern. Iterator is a behavioral design pattern to access elements in sequential manner independent of its underlying representation. The motivation is obvious and it is more commonly used to navigate through a collection. Invoker need not have to know the underlying representation. In other words, any list can be iterated in similar way. So, the user will call the same getIterator method for any collection which implements the iterator interface. It is helpful as the user can navigate list of string, int or any collection of objects in the same way. Now, let's implement a sample code to understand it further. Let's jump right in. I opened Visual Studio and created a console application with a couple of interface. One is the iterator which is going to navigate through the list of collection and other one is the container which is going to hold on to the repository. We should implement both the interface in order to see the pattern in action. Let's first implement the container interface. And let's assume the container is going to hold on, is going to contain a list of names. Let me hard code it for the purpose of this demo. It's going to be a list of string. Right. three names in there and then I have to implement the interface. The get iterator method is going to return the name iterator. Which is yet to be implemented. Name iterator is a private class inside this name repository which is going to implement the iterator interface. Great. Let me fix this issue. All right. To navigate from one element to other element, we need to maintain an index and I am going to initialize that index here. Okay, now the hash next is going to return a boolean to verify whether the repository has any next element in the collection. So that's going to happen if the index is going to be less than the names dot length then yes the element has a next if the collection has a next element if else, if not then it is going to return false And the next function is going to actually return the value. Alright, 
then we have to if there is no item in the collection then we have to return null all right so let's go into the the client portion of it and then try to invoke the name repository and call the get iterator method it is simple now we have to just run a while loop to check whether the repository has a next element in it and if the result is going to be true then we can console right line the next element pretty simple right now let's execute it and it displayed the items in the repository if you are attending interview or a student Please check out source code from link given in video description below and implement the questionnaire along with test cases. Share your code in the comment section so everyone can benefit from it. I shall also try to answer any of your queries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.